This is our review of Call of Duty World at War. Activision's Call of Duty series heads back to the 1940s with World at War, a World War II focused shooter that attempts to do many of the same things that the previous game did, but in a different time period. It's interesting to watch those different facets of a modern game as they're molded to fit into an earlier conflict. And it works better than you'd probably think. At times, though, it still feels like a knockoff of a better game. The game's campaign splits time between two different fronts. For half of the game, you'll play in as an American Marine taking on Japanese force as you push from their forward island bases all the way back to Okinawa. The other half puts you in Russian boots as you strike back against the Germans, pushing them out of the motherland and sanging Berlin. You know, just like the real thing. Like the previous game, the campaign jumps back and forth between the two perspectives. You'll play a level or two as one guy, swap to one other for a bit, then swap back. This keeps up over the course of the game's 13 missions. Of course, these are all pretty minor points in the grand scheme of things. Call of Duty World at War is a perfectly competent game with exciting multiplayer options and a campaign that's worth playing. But in most of the ways that actually count, Modern Warfare was a better game.